hello guys i hope uh, every one of you are doing very well so today uh, i will going to download uh, digital elevation map data from the usgs website so to download you data from usgs website we must have a kml file so first of all i will prepare a kml file to prepare a kml file we have to uh, download and install google earth google earth software from uh, google earth in online such as here uh, the first earth.google.com uh, link uh, google earth will open but unfortunately we cannot prepare any shape file on uh, in online version of google earth so we must have to download and install the google earth software to download and install google earth software we will just click the menu option here on the top left corner just click menu option and at the bottom here you can find the download google earth on desktop so just click here and uh, other tab will open showing that download google earth pro for windows here you can cl click accept and download so i have already downloaded this software and installed to save the time so i will just cancel it and uh, just going toward my main task and my main task is how to prepare kml file for uh, downloading usgs dem data so if we know the location of uh, our study area we will just uh, uh, move toward or if we don't know the location of our study area we will just uh, write a name of uh, the area and just click on search so if we click mangala we can see the mangala hamlet here in the red circle so actually we are not going to download dam for only the water body of mangala but uh, we need to download the entire watershed the watershed is the area contributing to any water body so we can see uh, three major uh, water structures as uh, the dark green color it is the water bodies uh, actually it is the mangala dam so here on the top side uh, we can see another water body uh, here it is tribula dam so mangala watershed the mangala dam is actually getting the its water from the upper indus basin actually there are some other rivers contributing to some other watersheds in the upper boundary upper uh, indus basin so to download the dam data and uh, precisely precisely for mangala dam we need to study its literature review in the literature we can see that uh, the 55% uh, of uh, mangala uh, watershed is uh, in uh, the Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir and only 45% area is in the region of Pakistan so we can uh, just uh, uh, guess that its uh, main area is uh, almost uh, on the right side here and it's the uh, uh, the other area in Pakistan region is maybe uh, here so it is just uh, uh, guess guessing from uh, literature and uh, seeing the uh, its map from uh, other publications so on a, uh, here we will just use a journal formation uh, for journal uh, data downloading because if we don't have any uh, literature or any cannot find any publication relating to uh, the watershed we are going to study then we will just use uh, an estimated or just uh, uh, prepare, uh, prepare the KML files on uh, a guess 
gas gas based so just uh, if we uh, do not know we can just go and guess your study area that uh, where your uh, watershed is actually located so don't uh, uh, worry about that if you downloaded many times and, uh, and, uh, and work on it on uh, uh, in the GIS then there will be also no matter so uh, to add uh, uh, camel file we first add a polygon uh, we can name our polygon according to our study area no matter what name what is your study area so actually my study area is Mangala watershed so I will name it as Mangala watershed don't click ok just uh, move it somewhere else and uh, and click uh, the points uh, where you can think the water in uh, this water body uh, are coming so i will just click here a one point is added and uh, uh, this one here let's put here but uh, please note that uh, we cannot add uh, many points um, i mean uh, the points must be less than 30 so um, we are just uh, assuming that the study area is in this region okay we just assume that this uh, the mangala watershed is in this area we are not sure but we will uh, when we will run it in GIS for Sawat, uh, we will uh, actually find its the actual watershed. So we just uh, consider downloading more dam. The more dam is okay, but if you download uh, dam for uh, lesser area, then it will be cause problem. So try to download. Uh, try to cover uh, more area in uh, the KML file okay so I have just selected point and now I will click OK so the Mangala watershed file you can uh, see here uh, Mangala watershed polygon is already here so just right click on it and uh, you can see such as save place as you can find this and uh, save it as a camel file uh, on the desired place where in the or in the in your working folder so for the this to today I will uh, save it on desktop so here there is a KMS KMZ file so just click here and uh, you can see uh, the other option such as uh, sorry the bottom one uh, the other option is KML file so just click KML file and save it okay after saying saving uh, the Google Earth uh, work has been already completed so our shape file has been uh, created and we can see it here so just move to the USGS website just try USGS and search it. We will find USGS Earth Explorer on the top. Just click on USGS Earth Explorer, it will open like this. So, for a detailed elevation map, you must need to uh, log in into this website. For login purposes, you have to create your own account. No matter uh, this account is uh, in the USGS is totally free. So you can just uh, use your own account and uh, log in into it. Okay, so I have already downloaded uh, the. I have created my own account. Already. So I will just go and sign it. So after signing in, you can see the other 
version of website you can see that's my account and my some applications so I will go back to home page this website it is, it is opening it is already open so if you, if you cannot open from that you can revisit this website after creating your account you revisit this earthexplorer.usgs.gov website and this uh, uh, main page will open so here is the area of United States but we are not going to download uh, data for United States do you remember we have already created a shape file so just click here on the KML uh, the shape file upload it, it will say you upload KML yeah, KM or KMZ file so just create a KML it is already selected so select your file If we click on select um, and we will go toward uh, the folder where our KML shape file is located. So I have uh, the file I have created earlier on, it is located on my desktop. So I will just go to my desktop and just click on the file and open it. After opening, you can see the uh, shape file is already uploaded. Here, click on close, you can see the shape file, uh, your shape file here. So at the bottom here is the all uh, points latitude and longitude of all the points but uh, no matter what um, about the points actually we are concerned about the entire uh, our area so here we will collect on uh, result options after clicking on result option We will click on data, data sets. For result option, if we need to study uh, to download the DEM data for um, many years, such as from 1990 to 2020, then we will uh, uh, just write here in the result option about uh, your uh, data range from this one to this one. But we are not concerned about uh, the data range or result option or else, else for the data elevation map. We are just need to download data elevation map. It is almost unchanged for the for many years. So just click on data sets and uh, uh, find. We have to find some uh, uh, maps such as data elevation. Just click plus sign there um, my may be many um, elevation maps uh, are available but we are not going to download these we are going to download the srtm based digital elevation map for hydrological modeling we just click on plus sign here uh, and there are many there are many and, uh, them are located here so just uh, we do not need to download only water bodies or white field spaces non wide void field we will just uh, download here srtm one arc second global map i will just click on uh, here so after uh, checking it uh, the required data we click on results okay so here we have uh, many uh, uh, files uh, uh, appeared just here uh, we can check its location by clicking on uh, the foot sign here we can see this uh, dam is almost uh, the bottom part of the dam what uh, our study area and uh, this is that we just can go and download 
all this stem for better uh, as I earlier said that we uh, have to download uh, more area because uh, more area and downloading them data for uh, more area is better than uh, getting uh, the data for this area we can see that main damn file we can also click on next there are already also other dam files are available so i am going to just uh, download i have already downloaded all this data set uh, i will show you later uh, but uh, for today uh, just click on uh, a single file and I just uh, download it uh, here is the download icon I click on this so there is uh, many options three options BIL, one arc second and DTED and GeoTIFF so we will download GeoTIFF data to process in arc GIS we will consider downloading uh, TIFF data and we will just click on start download and it will be downloaded on my desktop also to check the uh, downloaded data if it is accurate or not we will just uh, open our GIS software so uh, GIS software we will add our data into it just click on plus sign or there are many other options to add your required data we will just click here on plus sign to add data and uh, we will just uh, search where the our data is located so it is already also already on desktop so we have to find it uh, uh, here we can see n32 e0761 arc this one this is our dem file so i am just uh, processing uh, just showing off only one file because I have downloaded uh, just one file so I have already other uh, other files in some different folder but I will uh, uh, talk about those later on so I, it will asking uh, pyramid building may take a few moments so I will click on yes so our file is just uh, here we can see our temp file here if we change its properties to uh, make it more uh, look to show it in a better way we will do in just show it as uh, display uh, symbology in symbology we can uh, show from green to red in the we can see the bottom area here and the, the top uh, the in the reddish color its height is 6420 meters whereas in the low it is 400 so it is the one file of our dam thanks a lot for watching my video and I hope uh, we will uh, discuss uh, about uh, the dam processing and uh, hydrological modeling in the coming videos Thanks a lot.